Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Nancy and in today's video I am going to do a dollar store DIY for you guys. So grab something nice to drink and let's get started. I found this frame at the thrift store. Um, I know I'm doing a dollar store DIYs and I could have uh, bought some kind of a frame at the dollar store or even a canvas. They do have canvas, but I thought I might as well use this while I have it on hand. So you could get yourself something at the dollar store in similar sizes to do this project as well. So the first thing I'm doing is removing all the backing of this frame. I want to take it all apart so I can just have uh, the frame ready for painting. These staples are on there very well, so I'm going to take my time taking them out, trying not to damage the frame too much. Now I've got everything apart, I'm going to save this uh, cardboard and use it again to put on the back of the frame when I'm done. And surprisingly, um, this a piece of the frame is a um, nice color it's white on this side so I'm definitely uh, going to use this I was going to cut a piece of uh, wood to put in there but I'm not going to now I'm going to use this instead I got my frame all washed and now I'm ready to put a clear coat of the Rust-Oleum um, product and then I'm going to follow that with three good coats of the Rust-Oleum chalk paint in white linen and let dry in between each coat. I got these cute little houses at the dollar store. I thought they were super, super cute. So the first thing I'm doing is removing everything um, of these houses, the hooks, the decor, and also going to remove uh, the hook to hang it on the back. I got this pack of wooden ring at the dollar store as well. So what I'm doing now is simply uh, going to use my white Rust-Oleum chalk paint in white linen again. Uh, same as the spray, but this time just in regular paint. And I'm going to paint these ring with that color. Now I'm using a bristle brush and I got this beautiful paint color at Home Depot. This is a sample that you can get for $5 so uh, it's very affordable to have a good selection of paint colors and unfortunately it doesn't say the paint color on there. So I'm going to go ahead and lightly brush this uh, with my bristle brush dry brushing onto these houses to turn them in a very pale aqua color. When I do my dry brushing technique, I wipe off most of the paint off my brush and I go bit by bit, little by little at a time, so that way I'm not disappointed by I've had it too much. So I'm just taking my time and lightly uh, put that on. Thank you. 
I want one of my houses to be a tad darker than the other one. So I'm going to be more generous with my dry technique on this one. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Now that my dry brushing is done with the aqua, I'm doing the exact same thing with the exact same brush. I'm not washing in between and I'm lightly putting some white into that. And because my brush is still got some aqua on it, it gives me a multi of colors, some lighter aqua, some white, and it gives a really nice effect. So I'm going to do that with the three houses. I'm taking my white chalk paint with a small paintbrush and I'm painting the roof of these little house just to make sure I have the same color throughout my whole project. Now that my houses are ready, nice and dried, I'm taking some of my rings and I'm going to put them in front of my bird houses. I just need to determine whether I want them lower on my bird house or higher. Um, I'm unsure, so let's try to see what it looks like. So I decided to go with the ring a bit higher. I find it gives more of a beach house look, I guess. I'm liking it better that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hot glue these rings in place. I'm using the Gorilla glue gun with the Gorilla hot glue as well. Now I'm taking my same white chalk paint and painting inside of these rings just to give a bit more dimension to these little houses. I am going to give two coats of this. I'm also going to do another coat to the roof as well. Now my frame is nice and dried with several coats and I'm going to go ahead and put this frame back together. So put the backing on, also putting the cardboard and I'm going to put this all together with some hot glue. Now I'm cutting a piece of brown paper to size of the backing just to cover the backing a bit just to make it a little bit cleaner. So I'm going to cut around my little hook on the top just to uh, make some space for that hook. And then I'm going to go ahead and hot glue this paper um, all around the back of the frame. Now my frame is put together, I am taking my three bird houses, putting the darker one in the middle and the other two on each side and I'm simply going to align this in the middle as much as possible and I'm going to hot glue that in place.
and here is the final result for my birdhouse frame i wanted to keep this very simple and clean with somewhat of a nautical look and i think it turned out very very cute i am loving these color combination it's perfect for a summer vibe for my second project, I repeated the same step and made two more birdhouses and I had these cases left over from the dollar store. It had all these little wood pieces in it. So I'm using two of these as a base for my birdhouses. So the first thing I'm doing is taking my white Rust-Oleum chalk paint and giving this two good coats of paint allowing to dry in between. I forgot to remove these hanging hooks on the back of these houses so I'm going to go ahead and do that and paint the back of these houses. And I'm also carefully going to paint the side of these houses to give it a nicer and cleaner finish. Everything is nice and dried and I'm using four of these cube wood blocks that I got at the dollar store as well. And I'm going to create a support for the back so I'm going to hot glue these blocks on the back of this house holding it straight up just to create some kind of a stand. Now the next step is to hot glue this birdhouse to the base and I'm simply going to put some hot glue on the bottom of this piece and glue it to the top of this white base making sure that I'm holding it nice and straight. now these birth house stand by itself it's super cute but i want to give it a nicer and cleaner finish so i'm applying another full coat all on the back of these houses I'm using two of these little candle jars that I have on hand left from a thrift store project but they do have similar ones at the dollar store so you can get them or simply get just regular candles whatever you like I'm not going to hot glue these in place because I want to be able to clean them and then I'm simply going to put some candle inside of this jar and voila and this completes this project And here is the final result for these little birdhouse candle holders. I just absolutely love these. I've put a riser on the bottom of one of them just to give it different heights. And I think it works out perfectly. These are a cute little set. 
and it could be used together or separately in different areas. For my last project, I picked up this home sign at the dollar store. So I'm simply going to remove this plastic and I'm going to use that same technique as earlier by dry brushing some white paint onto this piece until I get the effect that I like. I'm going to dry brush quite a bit on it because I want it to be uh, a lot of white, but I don't want it completely white, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I got these super cute little bird houses at the dollar store as well. I just need to determine which one of these I want to use with my home sign, which one I think would fit the best, and, and then we'll go from there. I settled for that one and now I'm using my utility knife being very careful and because this birdhouse has some kind of a ledge on the back of it I want to uh, make that as flat as possible so I'm carefully going to uh, slice uh, the back piece off of the birdhouse if that makes sense and by going over and over a few times the piece actually uh, snaps off pretty easy after that. Now my little birdhouse is nice and flat. I'm using some of my same aqua color and simply painting the birdhouse uh, body, uh, not the roof, uh, just the body. And I am going to do that all around on the sides, the front and the back. Now I'm using my water-based stain. I got this at Home Depot and this gives an instant age look. It is very a beach house kind of feel uh, to the stain. So I'm gonna go ahead and stain the roof, uh, the base and also the little perch. Now I'm speed drying the process with a hair dryer. Now that my little birdhouse is ready, I'm simply going to hot glue this in front of the letter O. Now, because this is a shelf display, I want to make sure I stabilize it a little bit more. So I'm applying some of these cubes again on the back of this sign just to give it more support. Okay. 
this sign is not going to be hung on the wall so i'm removing the hanging hooks now to finish this project i'm going to paint two coats of this white chalk paint on the back and all along the side of the uh, home sign And here is the final result. This is a very nice added touch to a shelf. It really gives a little pop of color and it's so simple and cute. I just love it. So that's it for this video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If this was your first time on my channel, I hope you will be back. And if this wasn't your first time, well, thank you so much for your support in coming back. If you like this video, please give me the big thumbs up. I want to hear all your comments down below. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel and you like what you've seen today, well, there is much more to come. So hit that subscribe button and join Nancy's Magic Touch and DIYs. Until next time, folks, you have yourself a wonderful day.